sometimes when you're playing music that is derived from like African diaspora, there's a little bit of a swing to it, or like a flow to it. So stuff is not, unless it's meant to be rigid and square. So the bell player keeps it circular. Ta ta, tu tu, ta ta, tu tu, ta ta, tu tu, ta ta, tu tu. This is music that people dance to. Okay, and if you make it ta-ta, tutu, then they'll be like this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, hey, ta-ta, tutu, ta-ta. Okay? All right, so let's get that. One, two, three, and ta-ta, tutu, ta-ta. We are here at UC Merced. I'm the president of Distinguished Ladies, which is a women's group um, that focuses on promoting academic success, positive self-image, community outreach, and professional development. And since it's Black History Month, we felt it would be cool to invite the ladies from Broom Shake Out to lead us in an awesome drum circle workshop. After the workshop, I definitely feel um, really empowered. I feel really free. Something that I myself have been really looking forward to and looking really f and my hope for my community for my campus is to is the question like how do I integrate culture and ethnicity and kind of um, who I am and where I come from into everyday life I really love how they incorporate song into the drumming. Like, so first we learn our beats, um, and then we get to hear a song and sing the song with the beat of the drum. Combining all these different avenues of expression together, and it really just creates this really amazing emotional vibe. I can hear my people crying, I, I can't can breathe. breathe. We're gonna do that song to this beat, because we in revolution. We are here to take over. Yes. Right? So that means we have to sing with that intensity, sing with that power inside of us. So we have to call down our ancestors, incite the fire inside of us, and create a freaking change. Right? Woo, woo. So this is it. Repeat after me. I can hear my people crying. I can't breathe. Sing it. I can hear my people crying. I can't breathe. So both of us at Boom Shake had a vision of using music not just um, not just to teach people about singing or about musical techniques but to talk about how music has been used um, as, a, as a tool for survival and for resistance against the different kinds of oppression that we face. Um, we wanted to help people make noise and have a voice where they've been told to, to be silent and we wanted to help people retain a memory from their families, from their cultures and where they've been cut off from those memories and cut off from those traditions, learn traditions and build traditions and create new traditions. After the workshop, I was just really energized. I thought it was great that they were incorporating social justice and you know the idea of revolutionizing and you know making change. Um, yeah, I thought it was great because you know sometimes for me, I don't think as music as a sort of like a vessel to that. I can't get 